Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day and super excited because we are feeding the four biggest boas and then we'll try to feed uh, the green anaconda as well. I'm pretty sure she's gonna eat. Pretty sure all of them are gonna eat because it's been a couple days past the uh, 14 days that I normally feed them on and the normal is ready to go. So just wanna show you guys if you missed it on the last video, just kind of added some extra branches and a new water area for the Burmese. And she seems to be enjoying that very well. Uh, it's getting a little dry in there. So kind of misting it down. And hopefully this uh, definitely helps out. And I know that the Burmese and the Anacondas, they do like the areas where it's pretty wet and uh, with a good amount of water. So I think spraying them down uh, the cages every once in a while is probably a good idea but hopefully the next time she sheds it works out better than what happened last week so let's get into the uh, the feedings and we'll see how this goes so we got some really large uh, mediums. I don't know if I actually grabbed out some large rats on accident, but uh, I'll just feed the largest ones that I do have uh, to the biggest snakes that I think should be taking them. So, there we go. And I probably should have taken a lot of this stuff out so she has more room to eat. But I do have a very large height in there for her, which she she uses it sometimes, not as much as I thought she would. So while she's enjoying that, we'll just move on to the next. I don't want to pinch. I don't want to pinch her in there. I think I did maybe just a little bit. So who do we want to feed next? Oh, we'll go with the ghost. And then we'll just kind of switch it up a little bit on the order that we're, we've been going. No, the ghost is not that big. So we will just give this one the smaller size medium. No. Oh, there we go. Wasn't ready for that strike. Normally she's pretty calm, but as she's getting older, she's getting a little bit more intense and vicious with how she's uh, striking the rodents. But she still has a really good size on her body. Like she's not getting too fat. And I do have all of the, uh, all four of these on the exact same feeding schedule, which I think is working out really well for them so this is 2017 and then these ones down here are all 2016 so the ages on them i mean it's not a huge difference so we'll go in here and we will feed the albino gotta be careful on the swing downs because they will come out at you um, if they know there's food in the area so we can give her we can give her a pretty decent size meal right here so we'll see what see what happens oh there we go let's try to get her over here there we go that looks good and i think she might be going into shed she hasn't started yet, but I think soon enough. And this one's still doing really well. And there's the uh, Argentines. Now, this girl right here is crazy when she's in her cage. So a lot of the times when I swing that down, she's already starting to want to come out. So this is really the only one that I've left all of the branches in and stuff 
I mean, I do like the branches. It looks nice. They kind of use it, but my snakes really aren't display animals. Like I interact with them almost every single day, multiple times a week. And trying to get these snakes out as they're getting bigger with these branches and the vines and stuff like that, it's just kind of a hassle. So, I mean, it does look nice. I might put the branches in there for a little bit for just, um, I don't know, pictures or something like that, but we'll see what she, she eats. There we go. But I mean, they get all wrapped up in it and stuff and I don't know. It does look good, but I know I take them in and out all the time, but with the stuff that comes outside from the trees in the backyard, it it's a lot dirtier um, and stuff like that, but man, this girl is gorgeous. I'm surprised she's not throwing a fit right now and huffing and puffing. There we go and get a little bit of light on her, get some iridescence. I'm very, very excited for her to keep on growing up. I've been looking up some adult females and they are massive. So she's definitely going to be probably the biggest boa other than the anaconda that I have. And she will definitely be one that gets a six foot cage because, I mean, just looking at the pictures of adults, they are, I mean, they're easy 10 feet easily. So, um, I don't want to cram her in, in a small cage if, if she's outgrowing it. So, I, I think I laid out one too many rats. Bummer. Uh, we'll try to find the green anaconda. I'm pretty sure she's... Um, All right, so I'm pretty sure she's hidden back here. And I know they do love to... Oh, that was bad. Camera angle. I know they love to hide in the plants and stuff. And they, she loves to eat underwater. And I'm still trying to work out this water situation. I really want her to have this big bowl right here. Or this big tub. And the scissors that I have aren't big enough and aren't strong enough to cut through this this lip right here so I got to go get some heavy duty scissors cut probably a nice um, entrance right here so it's easier for her to get in and out of and then hopefully that works out and then we will give her a very nice rat There we go. So.
All right, guys, so they ate with zero issues at all, which is awesome. I always love watching the big boas eat. I mean, I like watching them all eat, but it's pretty impressive to watch them strike and then, you know, eat a meal that large. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I tried to change it up a little bit so it's not the same repetitive type of uh, feeding videos as it has been. But if you guys like how it was, let me know, or if you like it how it is now, um, or I can change it try something however you guys uh, would prefer but hopefully you guys have a safe and fun weekend and i'll see you guys on the next video